What's up, guys? I'm Tyler. I'm Brittany. We're back at you with Wallace Farm and Sawmill. Today, on the menu for the sawmill will be these pine logs, 16 foot long, one by four, true two by fours, and that's it. We're finishing up an order, and uh, it's actually the one from Friday from the previous video. We're finishing it on Monday, and I'm be uploading it on Tuesday or Wednesday, so that's how it works. Anyway, let's get to it. About to cut these things to length, and uh, I hate to waste a little bit, but got to get them to the correct length, and then we're going to run them over here to the right there, circle saw mill and uh, buzz them down, so let's get it. Loud. The chain is dull. It's hot. I'm not sharper to cut two logs. I'm gonna cut the two logs. Feel me? <laughs> Guys, we're idled down for a second. Let's get this log rolled onto the deck here. Move this around to this side. into some lumber we're gonna shoot this is the smaller of the three logs i got here to work with so we're gonna make those one befores out of this guy
morning, guys. We'll take it down here and put that back on the carriage. So what happened at our circle saw mill, the way the feed works or the set works work, they have these paws that dig into this gear. And over time they get wore on the bottom where they click into the gear and uh, there's six paws. I have welded and fixed two of those to be more sharp and fitted like they're supposed to be. Anyway, I got some more work to do. Long story short, what happened over there, I could not get it to hold because the way a Corley set works and spring receiver works spring puts tension on it and if your paws won't hold into the gear it's trying to back up on you the whole time so it's not holding where it should be i tried to get a couple boards off and i was fighting and i said uh forget it that's why i have another sawmill so um i don't have time in the middle of the freaking week to stop and fix that in the middle of the day when i'm trying to get some stuff done so long story short hello wood miser you're gonna finish up the job so now we're over here and we got those cants that you seen us cut over there a second ago and we're going to split them down over here and finish out where you at that way little stack of lumber right there so anyway gotta get this done 
and uh, it's really hot out here. It's very hot. So, let's get this. So now we're getting the last couple boards off here. These are true two by four by 16s and they are long and are they heavy? So, like I said, we had to swap to this mill to finish up the job. And well, that's perfectly fine. That's why we have the backup. I'll work on the other one this Friday when I got some off time. And I can fix that. So, yeah, I think I'm a. I might take you guys along for a few random things this afternoon that we're doing. Uh, one, I'll show you how we clean that sawdust up. And other than that, I'll conclude it after we get to that part of the video. I just want to see y'all, show you how hard I'm working out here. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> nah, I had to get. Yeah, I'm working her to death. I had to get a couple, uh, couple uh, of these boards off here. I think I might have to saw that one for the guy, but we're about to take a lunch break. Stay tuned, guys, because after lunch, we'll be tackling that sawdust pile with that tractor. Dun, dun, dun. And we got a bunch of edges we got to go through. So close us out for lunch. See you after lunch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. What we're doing now is we finished those that order from this morning. The guy came, picked up that order, and so I'm probably going to title this one a day at the sawmill because we're just kind of doing some random work out here. But this is part of it. Uh, all the edgings that came off of that lumber and some logs and lumber that we were cutting yesterday, I went ahead and edged them all in the two before. As you can see, they're getting stuck into the pallet wood like normal. So I'm going to show you, uh, we just run them on the edge or stick them back right there, pull them across, chop them up, and uh, yeah, that's what we do. So I'm going to do like one or two of them, then I'm going to put you on a time lapse, because there's like probably 35, 40 of them right here to get through. So what we do, grab them, 
Set them up here on the little jig we got. Just had a little end. Cut it off a good square end. Then we bump them until they hit 40 inches. reduces our waste we get to optimize every inch of the uh, log even all of our side cuts and whatnot so I'm gonna set you over to a time lapse so you don't have to watch me do that for the next 15 20 minutes guys one final thing we got to do we got to move this sawdust pile and then we're going to saw a couple more logs before it gets too hot i got to do something on my building here because sun comes in this way and as you can tell in the afternoons the sawyer is standing in the direct sun um as soon as the sun makes its way around a little bit more it's it's right up here now i want to show you right at it but once it gets around right in here here in full sun so we're gonna drop a skirt down on the building like six seven foot down and should block out a lot of that we'll see let's get this sawdust moved all right guys now is the time to do one of the hottest and most uh what's the word for it crappiest jobs here moving the sawdust at least that's what i think so um we only have to do this once a day and i actually want a day and a half in between doing this so this is a little bit more here than what usually is but uh we're gonna move this sawdust uh probably get two and a half full scoops on the tractor and that will all be gone and a lot of our logs in the summer heat um and they've been bought for several weeks now are starting to shed their bark which is perfectly fine with me because that just gets rid of all the dirt that would be in the bark but here's the problem with that they end up you see the mess of it on the concrete over there so we got a lot of cleanup to do we're about to do about 30 minutes worth right here and then get back to sawing so that's what we're doing Britt, show them how we do this get a couple scoops we usually start on one end here we got the, and this is uh well i'll show you in just a second here we usually it's best to have the concrete it makes for cleanup easy because your shovel can just go glide right along underneath your sawdust so well it makes for a easy cleanup so let's get it get my shovel here All right, we're gonna move this bucket. Time lapse to the end. <laughs> All right, guys, it's the end of a long, hot day. You can tell we've been through it here. We're sweated through and tired. <laughs> Had to do a little garden there at the end of the day, also um, on top of the sawmill and stuff. So it's it's been a long and hot and tiresome one. But you see what we got to get on tomorrow. We got more. There it is, pallet wood over there. And uh, yeah. So basically today, this is just a general video a day at the sawmill. I had a custom order this morning. Right back on the pallet wood after that, and I want to get some content out for you guys check it out in the near future i've got my patreon account that i'm working on i'll put a link in the description to it here and uh, you guys can join along there for some behind the scenes content and more of our antics i'm sure there's plenty of those to be seen 
But anyway, I want you guys to be on the lookout for that. I will be talking about that more in the near future. And uh, give me some ideas. I need some video ideas in the comments below. Tell me what you want to see. What do you want to know? Do you need to know some info on the business? Ask away. Anywho, guys, till next time, I'm Tyler. I'm Brittany. And I just blanked out. <laughs> so if you guys like this content, I would like for you to like, comment, and subscribe. Till next time. See ya.